When a police sniffer dog rushed to some luggage and indicated that there was something of interest inside, the officers got to work, and what the cops found when the box was finally opened left them dumbfounded. The Beirut Rafik Hariri International Airport is the only operational commercial airport in Lebanon, and as such, it can be incredibly busy, with people traveling all across the globe. They see countless numbers of people passing through their terminals, and ridiculous amounts of luggage, packages, freight, and parcels are all hauled to every country imaginable. So as you can imagine, the security of the airport is of utmost importance. For this reason, they have police patrolling the building and private security staff keeping an eye on all the comings and goings. But there is one set of relatively unsung heroes working at the airport, police sniffer dogs. These dogs have been highly trained to sniff out suspicious packages or luggage containing some kind of banned item. It could be drugs, substances, or even money. They have been taught how to properly identify a bag and what to do when they make a discovery. Their police handlers know the signs, and if a sniffer dog points their nose directly at an item of luggage or a person while sitting completely still, they know that it needs checking out. It's a simple system, but one that is tried and tested. When walking through the airport, this dog was sniffing at luggage as he went. No one paid him much attention, knowing that the adorable little animal had a job to do. As cute as he was, they knew they couldn't stop and stroke him, as it would interfere with him doing his very important work. So the most people would ever do is give the dog handler a passing smile as they walked on by. But suddenly, the dog started to indicate that he had smelled something in one of the boxes that had already been checked in, and was simply passing through the airport from one destination to the next. Looking at the shipping label, the police officer saw that the package was being transported from Ukraine to Beirut. Apparently, it had arrived several days before and was sitting at the airport awaiting transfer. The sniffer dog sat stock still, looking intently at the box. There was no doubt in the police officer's mind that his animal had discovered something highly unusual and most probably illegal. It was very rare that a sniffer dog wrongly identified something, and he had never known his dog to have ever singled out a person or item of luggage by mistake. The handler indicated that the dog could go closer, at which point he hopped up onto the box. The box itself was fairly large, measuring approximately three meters by one meter. It was very much like any of the other crates that passed through the airport, so visually it raised no red flags. The only difference that the police officer could see was that there were several small, almost unnoticeable holes along its length. The dog immediately noticed them and placed his nose directly over one of them, sniffing intently. He let out a little whine as he sniffed. This reaction was definitely something out of the ordinary. The sniffer dog had been doing his job for many years and a whine was not a part of his response repertoire. It was clear that there was something in there that interested him more than just the usual contraband items. The handler frowned as he looked the box up and down. What should he do next? Other police officers and airport staff started to gather around the box now, and together they lifted it off the floor and carefully placed it on a table to examine it. The officers were very conscious that it could have been some kind of explosive in there, and any knock might set it off. The team handled it very slowly and gently, and as soon as they set it down, they called the bomb squad. It was good practice for the package to be scanned and checked over before they did anything else. The chances of the box containing explosives was very thin, as they would have no doubt been picked up when they were checked in and scanned at the Ukrainian airport. But still, they were taking no chances. Everyone left the room, although the sniffer dog seemed in a big hurry to get back in there. It seemed strange that the dog was so fixated on the box. But still, no one was allowed in there while the bomb squad made their checks. As they waited outside of the building, the sniffer dog whined and paced around, wanting to get back in. The handler found this quite strange, as it wasn't like the dog to act like this. They had spent many years working together, but never had he seen the animal this worked up and wanting to get back to a particular item of luggage. This was sending up all kinds of red flags for the officer. What was it that was so special or strange about this box? What was in there? For now, they just had to wait while the bomb squad scanned the box and made their checks. Thankfully, they came out of the room calm and collected and alerted the other officers that while the box had still not been opened, they were sure there was nothing dangerous in there or at least there weren't explosives. 
they had scanned it with a metal detector and had found that there were no electrical components in there at all. That was a big relief, but it still begged the question as to what the box's content actually was. They needed to decide what their next move was. It was clear that the box was safe from a dangerous explosive or rigged bomb perspective, but it still didn't answer the question of what was actually in there and what had drawn the sniffer dog to it among all the boxes in the building. After some discussion, it was decided that they were going to slowly and gently crack it open, but when they finally opened the box and took a look inside, they were absolutely dumbfounded by what they saw. In all of the officer's years doing this job, he had seen many things. Drugs, money, explosives, contraband of all kinds, shapes and sizes. But he had never seen this. You see, inside the box were three tiger cubs huddled in sawdust. They were incredibly small and looked very thin and weak. It was clear that they were suffering and had been trapped in that box for a very long time. No wonder the dog had been trying so hard to get back to them. They were scared and silently curled together, clearly taken aback by all of the light and the new people poking around in the dirty box. No one knew how long they had been in the box, but it was very clear it must have been a while. There were feces all around and the sawdust looked soaked with urine. There were parasites and worms crawling around the box too. It was a wonder that no one had noticed this smelly box before, as the stench once opened up was quite unbearable. The animal protection services were called and were soon on the scene to gather up the three poor tiger cubs. They were taken to a sanctuary where they received all of the medical attention they needed. While initially it looked like the poor animals wouldn't survive their traumatic ordeal, it was nothing short of a miracle that they all pulled through. The tigers, two girls and one boy, were named Maya, Tanya and Anton, and they were sent to live in a sanctuary that could really take care of their needs and treat them as they deserved, and thankfully they were also kept together and not split up. As for where they came from, it was established by the police that the tiger cubs had been sold by a zoo in Ukraine. They were part of a 12 cub litter, and while it was a good thing that these three survived, no one ever found out what happened to their siblings, who were shipped out to other destinations. The director of the zoo was arrested, charged, and sentenced to serve a lengthy prison sentence. And it was all down to a police sniffer dog who was just doing his job and ended up being rewarded with tons of pets. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible story? Have you ever seen police sniffer dogs going about their business? And how would you have reacted to finding these poor tiger cubs in the luggage? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below.